What's going on, guys? It is ya boy Beer Gut Plays here with another episode of the WWE 2K24 My GM Mode. Now, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the content so far. If you guys like the content and you want to see this channel grow, make sure you soon kick that like button comment down below and subscribe to this channel for more content be sure to check out the channel's sponsor for today w energy w energy i use it pretty much on a daily basis i love i love their product i'll link it in the video description below use the code beer gut at checkout you will save yourself 10 percent on your order now guys before we get to the actual gameplay headlined by a really cool triple threat match, I got to do a little plug skis for this channel for the channel. If you want to check out the series playlist, I will leave it posted in the top right hand corner right here. Guys, it is a lot of fun. I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. Um, it's it's been a great, 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 great uh series for this 2.0 my gm mode now guys also be sure to check out the philadelphia flyers franchise on nhl 25 i'll leave it posted in the top right hand corner right here having a lot of fun over there we're only two episodes deep um that is dropping every sunday night and this series drops every tuesday and thursday so we're gonna get to the actual monday night raw episode and as you guys can see we are starting off to crown a new women's world champion it is going to be bianca belair taking on oscar remember we had the kerfuffle where we accidentally cut rhea ripley from the roster i'd love to get her back i'd, I'd love to have her she was a very very highly rated woman in the roster i forget what her her um legend rating was but it had to be pretty high we're gonna have logan paul take on l a knight yeah we're gonna be crowning new women's tag team champions as candice LeRae and indy hartwell are gonna be taking on thea hale and gigi dolan Remember last week's episode, it, it it ended in a disqualification. So this week we will be crowning a new women's champion. Your main event, it is going to be a triple threat match. Damian Priest taking on Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. Both, it's a night, it's a matchup of champions. Carmelo Hayes, Trick Williams are your current Raw Tag Team Champions. And Damian Priest, your current World Heavyweight Champion. Now, guys, this is going to be a pretty interesting card. We are going to be crowning two new set or two new champions tonight in the uh, Raw uh, or in the World Women's World Heavyweight Title and the Women's Tag Team Titles. So let's get this thing started. I am super excited for it. I can't wait to get going on this because, guys, this is going to be a killer, killer, killer event. I feel like this could be one of the better show, uh, better Monday Night Rawls in recent history. As you guys can see, rocking the WrestleMania 40 t-shirt I bought over WrestleMania weekend. Remember, I was live in attendance and I cannot be waiting. I cannot wait for my next adventure. It is going to be a lot of fun. Now, it, we are thinking about... I'm thinking about starting a second channel to where it's my travels, but we will cross that road when we get to it. Your opener is going to be a hell of a match. Live in Los Angeles, California, it is. We are going back to the old school roots, the gymnasium days as Bianca Belair is looking to win that women's world heavyweight title. I can't say that I'm not excited about this because I feel like these two women had such great chemistry together. And they're probably two of my uh, two of my top favorite women on the current active uh, wrestling or WWE roster. Uh, I honestly and again, no shade to AEW. I haven't really watched the product in a uh, god seven eight months 
and it's mainly because my cable provider Fubo does not uh, have TNT TBS on their it, it, on their channel lineup, which I'm fine with. Um, I only watched it for that anyway. So, what you gonna do, guys? Right? And sorry, I am sweating bullets right now. It's probably it says it's 75, but. God, it's got to be like 80 up in here. No fan going. It's a little warmer. I've had a few beers today. Uh, Sunday recording. What can I say, right? Asuka on her way to the ring is... Uh, uh, isn't she out with injury right now? IRL. Like, sound off in the comments. Is she out with injury? Because she is absolutely phenomenal. I, I love her work. And I, I loved her stuff with the Kabuki Warriors. Now, the game plan is being that we did get Alexa Bliss with that cheat code card is maybe get, uh, try and get Kyrie Sane, who was in one of the DLC packs and, you know, freaking sign her to a, you know, sign her to a contract and have the Kabuki Warriors uh, challenge for the the women's tag team title we got a juggalette in the crowd folks and here we go Wim raw women's world title on the line i gotta say that is a really beautiful belt probably one of my personal favorites if i'm just being honest And we are going to be crowned, unless we get a DQ finish, we're going to be crowning a new women's world champion tonight. I I'm excited about it. I think this is going to be a good, good, good matchup. And I can't wait. Referee calls for the bell and hits. The Bianca starts out strong with a spear. Asuka gets the knees up on the, the running splash. And Asuka teeing off, hits the spinning back fist, and now Asuka is in control of the match. They lock up. Asuka hits a German suplex. And now Asuka stomps on the shoulder of Bianca Belair. And she's working that arm for the Asuka lock. Bianca Belair gets up, Asuka with kicks, and the code breaker, the knees to the face, and Asuka going top rope, high risk maneuver, misses the splash on the outside, oh my goodness, and Bianca Belair drops Asuka right on that thin, thin, thin padding, and Asuka gets tossed back into the ring, and honestly, I thought Bianca was going to go for a 450 right there. No, gets that splash, Asuka. Asuka is reeling here. And now... Oh, K.O.D. and the legs are hooked. Asuka kicks out a two and a half. And now Asuka looking for... The triangle submission. She has got the triangle submission locked in. And Bianca Belair able to fight out of it. Spear by Bianca Belair. And Bianca is going for the cover. And that is a three count. Bianca Belair is your new women's world heavyweight champion. Bianca Belair steal or grabs a big time victory to be crowned the new women's world champion. I'm super excited about it. I think she did a phenomenal job. I want to see what that match rating is. I feel like that was a fu fun, solid back and forth match between two highly respected competitors in the wrestling ring. And what's going to happen? Bianca is 
three stars. Okay, I can dig it. That's going to be the start of a new feud. Jay Uso doing a little bit of advertising. LA Knight and Logan Paul is up next on the card. LA Knight from his hometown of Los Angeles, California. And Logan Paul from middle of nowhere, Ohio. So you got that Ohio skibbity riz. Uh, not a big fan of Logan Paul, not even going to lie. Not even going to deny it just a little bit. Logan Paul taught, never in this, never has been in kind of this environment. Never really toiled the indies like, never, never did anything. He is, he went straight to the biggest company. So this has got to be a little bit of a culture shock for him. Working in a high school arena, basketball uh, gym. Not going to lie, that, that's got to be kind of a shock for him. And that's cool. That is cool. And here we go. L A Knight. Yeah. Gotta say, he is probably the hottest su superstar right now. No, no Diddy. No Diddy. He's gotta be, you know, like the one of the most popular superstars right now. I feel like in the next year, if they don't screw this up, he could be a world champion. Um I feel like he could be, you know, a, a big time. Him and Cody, I feel like we've seen it somewhere, maybe like TNA or something like that. It could be a lot of fun. It could be a lot of fun. This LA Knight is a hell of a talker. And Cody, solid worker and just a, a phenomenal, uh, you know, two guys that are really, their strengths are on the mic. And the referee is calling for the bell. LA Knight, in the ring tonight and ready for the whole LA Knight starts with that big boot. There is no question. LA Knight knows how to and they lock up. And LA Knight going to the second rope. But Logan Paul with the counter. And Logan Paul stomps on the stomach of LA Knight. And the camel clutch sit down, whatever you want to call that move. And LA, not even a one count. LA Knight has got so much energy and runs him over with the big boot. And they're going to take this fight to the outside. Big back body drop and Logan Paul's back hits the hardest part of the apron. And Logan Paul... He's looking to work more of that back as LA Knight drops him on that steel guardrail. They tie up. Logan Paul gets tossed back into the ring like nothing ever happened. And the tee off. Oh, LA Knight with a shot of his own. And LA Knight got him, drops him back down. Not gonna go for a cover. What's LA Knight going to do? Knee clothesline takes down Logan Paul. And he's calling for it. The LA Knight elbow hits it. Lo what the hell? Logan Paul just no-sold that. And then gets with the clothesline. Kick. BFT blunt force trauma got the leg hook. Is Logan Paul gonna kick out? Two and a half. Misses the knee drop and Logan Paul of trading shots here. And LA Knight and Logan Paul just trading fists back and forth. Misses. Hits him. Logan Paul misses. Logan Paul busted wide open. Oh, 
Logan Paul. And the clothesline takes down Logan Paul. And Logan Paul looking for a little bit of reprieve, rolling to the outside of the ring. BFT on the outside. And the referee starting the count. Logan Paul gets tossed back in the ring. LA Knight going to hook the leg. I don't think Logan Paul's going to kick out of this. LA Knight is your victor. 2-0 and o against Logan Paul. And I can't believe it, to be honest with you. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm sweating my butt off here. And now we are going to crown new women's tag team champions. And on her way to the ring, Candice LeRae. Very familiar spot for Candice LeRae as she spent her a good amount of her time on the endings, indies. I feel like she probably wrestled in a few dirty, dingy, sweaty high school gyms. Um, that's the business, guys. That's just the way it is sometimes. I ain't even mad. Again, sweating my butt off up in here. But we're going to have a good match. I feel like this is going to be just one of the, the better matches on the card. After last week's disqualification victory for Thea Hale and Gigi Dolan, just kind of a thrown together team. I, I mean, I have a few ideas brewing up in old uh, Beer Guts brain with what I'm going to do with this roster, but I, I like what we have so far. Not even going to lie. I love what we have. I, I like the fact that we have, you know, a good couple good tag teams, good mid-card with Logan Paul, LA Knight, uh, Jey Uso, Gunther, a couple other, you know, and then the main event, it's... Um, Damian Priest and... And um, Bray Wyatt, R.I.P. Again, not really. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna try and get the plan with this series, and the reason why this is the only one that's getting dropped twice a week is I want to get two seasons done. I feel like that is a very feasible thing. So, um, I would like to win season two. That I feel like that's something very possible. Um, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we, maybe we come up just a little short before, uh, WWE 2K25 comes out. Wow. Uh, hopefully, you know, because the last couple of years, it has been a very big improvement since 2K20. <laughs> God, I remember when I first started as a content creator, I tried to, to make it work so bad with 2K20, and it just didn't. And obviously, y'all know why, but uh, it, it was pretty brutal, guys. Not going to lie. It was brutal. Whew. Again, sorry. I am sweating up a storm. But we're going to get this thing done as Gigi Dolan is now on her way to the ring. Honestly, she's one of my personal favorite uh, on the NXT roster now. I don't watch it. Um, CW is not included on Fubo, but we d I do have an antenna. Uh, I I am over traditional cable. I was, I was using YouTube TV for a while, but... Uh, if you guys don't know, now you know I am a huge Baltimore Orioles fan. Uh, Baltimore, the Ori all Orioles games are on Masson. Masson and Masson 2 Mid-Atlantic Sports Network. Unless they're on like a, a like TBS, which 
don't get TBS. So uh, able to watch it on Max. Um, Fox and ESP, unless they're on like one of those three, I never get to watch them. So, or now I'm able to. So I'm going to be sticking with Fubo. At least for a while until maybe, maybe YouTube TV gets it. But who knows at this point? And now we are looking for the new tag team champions. Will it be Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell again? And the referee raises the belts. They had a really long, lengthy feud with Chelsea Green and Piper Niven in the first season. So I I, I kind of just mashed this pairing together as Thea Hale starts out with the clothesline and takes Candice LeRae down with the snapmare and locks in the shoulder, the... What do we call? Uh, I don't know what we call that. A shoulder puller? Works for me. But Candice LeRae gets out. Back elbow. And now, Candice LeRae teeing off and slaps the hail. Poison Rana. And now, Candice LeRae going for the cover. Thea Hale in some real danger here. As she's already got her. Her head's got to be hurting. Uh-oh. Sharp shooter, but we know she ain't got she ain't natty here and steps down on the back of Thea Hale's head Knocks Gigi Dolan off the apron and now going for the cover leg is hooked Thea Hale kicks out at two And now Thea, H oh, takes down Thea Hale, got the Gargano escape locked in. <sighs> Come on. And now going for the cover, is Thea Hale going to be able to kick out? Yep. Indy Hartwell tagged in. And what is Indy Hartwell going to do? Just levels her with a punch to the face. Uppercut. And Thea Hale getting right back up. And with the blue thunder bomb, takes down Thea Hale. <laughs> oh, Thea Hale caught her. As Thea Hale was about ready to get hit with a neck breaker. And hits a DDT. And now Gigi Dolan in the ring gets a clubbing forearm blow. And now she is working the arm in the shoulder of Thea Hale and gets driven into the... Oh, cover. I thought Thea Hale was still the legal person, but okay. That's fine. Uh-oh. Full Nelson slams her back down to the mat. Going for that cover. Gigi Dolan kicks out at two and a half. Misses that elbow drop, and Gigi Dolan going to try and take control of this matchup. Leapfrogs. Misses the kick, though, and gets eaten with a big boot to the face. Snapmare, running, hits the boot to the face, and Gigi Dolan is really in trouble right now. Hits that neck breaker, and now Thea Hale back in, but gets eaten with the big, I don't know what the hell that was about, and now Indy Hartwell rolling outside the ring. Shake them cobwebs loose, girl. Get back in this thing. Y'all been dominating so far. Ooh. Uh-oh. 
I feel like this is going to be the end of the match. Puts her back down, hooks that leg. Is this going to be enough to put away Thea Hale? Yes, it is your new women's tag team champions, Indy Hartwell, Candice LeRae. Indy Hartwell scores the pin for the tag team. I believe this is their fourth tag title reign in the series, so I'm cool with it. I am so cool with it. I feel like we finally needed a tag, a new tag team, you know. We need to find somebody to feud with him, not just this random hodgepodge tag team. Uh, okay, match. I, I'm, I have a weird feeling after this feud, I'm going to end up cutting both of these women, and we're going to go f find a tag team. This was just all that was available for the money that I had, and now it is the main event. Damian Priest, Carmelo Hayes, he is him, and Trick Williams. Match of champions, baby. I should have put the U.S. champ Jey Uso in it. That would have been fun. That would have been a lot of fun. But, mm, wasn't thinking clearly at the time. Feel like this has got to be a match to kind of show, maybe potentially show some tension between our ta current tag team champs. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, what's going forward? But we're gonna have some fun in these next upcoming episodes. So grab your bowl of popcorn, strap in, and have a ball because I'm having fun calling these matches, man. Let me tell you. And the next match on the card, or the next competitor to enter the ring, is it going to be Whoop That Trick? Nope, Damian Priest. So again, not really, I don't have my, my headphones on, so I, I can't hear the entries or anything like that. Damian Priest is honestly so he's probably one of my I, I would probably put him one or two my favorite current superstars I, I don't know what it is about him I just I like him I think he is a phenomenal athlete I think he is a phenomenal wrestler I thought his world heavyweight title and again I I know I said I would discuss it on this channel at some point do the good the bad the ugly um I just haven't had time, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to do better. I do. I feel like we uh, we could potentially do some really cool content, and honestly, I just have not had the time. And the final competitor on his way to the ring It is going to be Here comes the Trick Williams. Now I got to say, these two as a tag team, mwah, chef's kiss. I feel like you have some really good talent, you know. The, the eventual goal is by the end of this year, year two, is have these two feuding with each other, maybe over the U.S. title. Um, I, I have some ideas, not even going to lie. I have some great ideas. But, again, we'll see if they actually come to fruition. God, I'm sorry. It's only 6.30. Jesus. But we're going to get this recorded. We're going to get everything put up. And then it'll be a good 
good, good, good episode. Hits that super kick. And now a DDT. They lock up. Reversal in the ring. Carmelo Hayes gets a shot on Damian Priest in the back. And the backbreaker from the reverse DDT position. Now the tag team champions feuding with each other. What a jumping DDT by Carmelo Hayes and both Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes fighting on the outside of the ring. Let these boys fight, figure it out. And, uh-oh, powerbomb. What would have been cool is if I would have jumped over the ro ropes and hit Trick with that. That would have been cool. And Carmelo Hayes is going to work on the arm bar on the outside. And now Carmelo meets with Damian in the ring and drops Carmelo on the back of his head. Oh, he's getting a weapon. What is he getting? A steel chair. Trick Williams bringing a, a little bit of heavy metal into the match. And Trick Williams gets the chair countered and the chair is on the outside. And a big atomic drop. And the suicide dive the over the rope with the... Mm, that was such a good move. And Carmelo back up on his feet. Hits the running STO trick, Williams. What's going to happen? The reversal. Oh, God. And trick Willie just takes him out with the clothesline. Oh, big slam on the mat. Tombstone driver. Tombstone slam. And now the leg hooked. Trick Williams kicks out at two and a half. What was that called by um, Riddle? The bro Derek? He hit the south of heaven on Damian Priest. Holy crap. And, ne and now Trick Williams in complete control. Holy moly. And the kendo stick. Oh, God. This has gone on like it is a hardcore match. Oh, the kendo stick is broken over Damian Priest's head. And now the tee-off shots by Trick. Whoop that Trick, huh? And now two of the three competitors are fighting on the ring as Trick Williams. He, <laughs> he just literally stepped on goddamn Damian Priest's back. DDT on the outside. Trick Williams has got a lot of momentum. Really taking both these competitors to their breaking point. And now Trick... Laid out. DDT on the outside. And what is Damian Priest going to do here? An octopus stretch on the outside. Clever. It doesn't... Whoa. And now... Ooh, that hurt my knees. Face buster. Oh, what a counter by Priest on that. Oh, these three guys know no limits. And now Damian Priest is busted wide open. Trick Williams does not care. And Irish whip off the ropes. Clothesline in the corner. Are we going to see the bro Derek? Tombstone slam. slam. 
Got him. South of heaven. Oh, Carmelo is down. But is that going to be enough to put this match away? Yes, it is. Damian Priest victorious. This was a hard-fought match by all three competitors. And Damian Priest showing the scars of war with the busted-up face. Peace. Huh? Does that make any sense to you guys? Because don't to me. Alexa Bliss. We just stole their women's champion. Oh my goodness. I, I wish you could do like a, a segment where where like and it'll show it on screen, but they but they take their if you sign their champion like um like we did like it was supposed to be they didn't crown a champion and Alexa Bliss just wins. They they show where Alexis Bliss dumps dumps it in the trash, much like a la uh, 95 WCW Medusa. Oh, Alundra Blaze in WWE. And we got one of their champions. I am fine with that. We come out of it 117,000. They got almost 500, half a mil. Honolulu, Hawaii. Here we go. Appreciate you, Lexi. What are we going to do here? First things first, I do want to sign somebody and I, I don't I don't know who you think it's going to be, but I have an idea who I want it to be. Oh my God, Braun Breaker available. You know I'm going to grab him. And it was a fairly cheap contract, but now with that move... We got to make a, we got to cut somebody off our roster. Uh Jay Uso um it's actually going to be a triple threat match. Think how cool that's going to be. Jay Uso, Braun Breaker and Gunta. Yeah, Cedric Alexander did not long for this roster. I don't care. It's fine by me. I don't really need him anyway. Uh, I signed him to initially just have him team with Carmelo Hayes, but Trick Williams was there was cheap, and I'm fine with it. That's going to be an exciting opening matchup. We're going to make it for the United States Championship. Braun Breaker getting a U.S. title shot in his debut. I feel I wish he would have won that title. That would have been cool. But what do I know, right? All right, well, we had, um, we, we, we're getting the card there. I feel like it's going to be a really good, good card. Okay. Non-title, LA Knight and Logan Paul. That's fine. Uh, Indy Hartwell going to cut a promo. I think. Gigi Dolan. Okay, I'll gladly take that. And your main event, Damian Priest, Bray Wyatt. I think we're just going to do in a false count anywhere match. That's fine. That's going to be good. And one thing I do want to do is bye-bye, um, Cedric Alexander. It was great having you on the roster for the short time that I did. But you gots to go. Well, guys. This was a lot of fun. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. If you like the content, you want to see this channel grow, make sure you super kick the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Be sure to check out the channel sponsor, W Energy. I'll leave it linked in the video description below. Use the code BEERGUT at checkout. You'll save yourself 10% on your order. Be sure to check out the other series that I'm running on this channel. I know I plugged a few at the beginning. We're going to plug the rest here. Um... If you want to see me go live every Saturday night with my my NASCAR wheel, it's going to be posted in, or with my wheel, it's going to be on NASCAR Heat 5. It's going to be posted in one of these corners right here. Want to see me race Mondays with Dale Earnhardt Jr. on NASCAR Inside Line, and it'll be posted in one of these four corners right here. 
want to see a live stream with Madden 25, that is every Wednesday night. It'll be posted in one of these four corners. And the final one is the Temple the Temple College Football 25 Dynasty. It'll be posted in one of these corners that airs every Friday night. Guys, I'm going to get the hell up on out of here. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully, I see you in the next episode. And peace out, my friends.